this can actually happen. I have seen a lot of patients who go to someone to relieve their neck and things go really wrong. That top sound that you hear is nothing but a gas bubble released inside the joint called cavitation. But when you twist the neck without specific control, you're not targeting a single stuck segment. You're actually forcing multiple joints at once. Around your neck runs tiny arteries and nerves that supply blood flow to your brain. Done wrong, it can irritate those structures, sometimes causing dizziness or even fainting. Here are three things you probably don't know about neck cracking and how to keep your spine safe. Number one, specificity matters. Professionals adjust millimeters of movement, not just random twist. Two, mobilize before manipulating. Whenever you are doing neck movements, make sure there is some mobility followed by breathing exercise. Three, strength protects you. A stable neck from deep muscle activation keeps your joint safe and aligned. Your neck doesn't need a crack all the time. It needs control and clarity. If you want a safe spine, consult someone who understands your anatomy. Save this video and share it. You might just protect someone from a serious neck injury.